Today's project is a baby quilt. And what I'm doing is I'm using some leftover 10 inch squares. I'm calling these my medium contrast fabric. So we need four of those. We need four that are more of a high contrast. So I have two in the yellow goldish range and two in the, what I call steel blue. And then you need eight 10 inch squares in your low volume. I'm using a mixture which will help pull this whole color scheme together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the low contrast and make HSTs with the other fabrics here. So again, it's right sides together like that. I'll draw a line from corner to corner and then I'll sew on both sides of the line and then we'll cut them apart to have our HSTs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you need a refresher on how to do the two up HSTs, uh, please let me know. I also spell it out in, uh, it was in my last video and I've done it several times before, but I certainly don't mind helping people with it again. So just let me know and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just showing you, I've got the double stitching line on all the sets. So just showing you as an example, yellow with a low volume and then another low volume with kind of a peach color. So what I'm going to do is cut them in half. When you sewed them together, you would have had eight pairs. When you cut them apart, you'll end up with 16 individual new squares. So half square triangles like that. So what I'll do is I'll cut them apart. I'll press them open. And what I'll do is I still like to press to the dark side because that makes nesting a lot easier. And then once we do that, we'll determine the smallest size block and then we'll square them up. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have them all pressed and I'm just taking a ruler and I like this one, it's nine and a half inches. So I'm just lining up on the center here, making sure there's fabric, extra fabric all the way around. So, so far from going through this exercise, I'm finding that nine and a half works for me. Depending on how accurate your seam was, you'll probably end up with a nine inch. Some of mine were a little bit on the skinny side. So what I'll do is when I stitch this together, I'll probably end up doing an extra stitch here when I'm quilting it, just to make sure it all holds together really well. So looking, yes, it is nine and a half. So I'm going to go and trim on all four sides down to nine and a half, and then we'll get ready for the first part of the assembly. Yeah, I was able to square each one up to nine and a half inches. Yours might end up being nine or eight and three quarters, whatever works as long as they're all the same size. So now what we're gonna take is four units and place them so that the low volumes are all facing in the center. If you have fabric that is really contrasting to each other, this is where you want the high contrast blocks facing out and opposite to each other, and then the mid-tone ones across from each other. It's best if you have these so that they're not the same size by side if you've done a scrappy. If you use um, a low volume where it is all the same, then this does not apply. So what we're gonna do now is take these and sew them together. So again, quarter inch seam, sewing here then here once that's done then we'll join them together here you'll end up with four blocks that in the end will have this type of layout and sewn together so once you're done um, i'm going to get mine done and then i'll be right back okay so i have all the half square triangles sewn together in groups of four units per block uh, disregard what I said about the center fabric. In the end, it's really not going to make a big difference. 
the whole intent in this block is to make it scrappy so uh, you use what you have <laughs> the blue and yellow were leftover yardage i had from another project the low contrast background was also some half um, some fat quarters that i had put aside and then these as i mentioned in the beginning were left over 10 inch squares that i had from another project so what we're going to do is we're now going to take one at a time and just because it's easier for me i'm going to try and keep the blue one down in the lower right hand corner it just seems to work out better and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a ruler and I want to divide this in thirds. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the three inch mark and putting on the center vertical seam and lining up here as well to make sure it's square. And then I'm going to cut this way. Move that over and then I'm going to do three inch on this side as well but because I can't cut left-handed and my table is set up for filming so I can't go around the other side I will do it this way so again the three inch so one two three you can mark it with tape so that you remember from cut to cut that looks pretty good again I my pinky on the side to keep it firm and slowly go along there we go okay so I know that originally it was this way and that's how we've made the cut so again this will be six inches here and then these will be six and a quarter because they have the extra seam allowance on the sides so this is very easy so what we're going to do is we're going to take this one we're going to move it to the left and then we're going to take this one and move it to the right and then we're going to sew these together and we have our new block and i prepared one earlier so this is will look like when it's sewn together so this is going to have kind of a neat modern butterfly look when it's all sewn together so i'm going to go ahead and so here and here what are one quarter inch seams i'm going to do the other two as well and then i'll be right back to show you how we can put them together for their final layout i was just going to show you a little trick i do because sometimes i get things mixed up when i'm starting to assemble them so what i did is i took a heat removing marker and i put a dot here and up here and then i put one here and here and those are the seams i need to join together just a quick tip for marking keeping it straight so here it is all finished I added two and a half inch borders. I decided to use a background and then the darker blue because I had enough left over and I figure it frames it and gives it kind of a pop. Um, so all I need to do is baste it and quilt it. If anyone has any ideas on what pattern to use for quilting, I'd certainly like to know. I will be doing it on my domestic machine. So I'll either do it free motion quilting or with a walking foot. This finishes around 45 inches square and comfortably would take an afternoon for someone that is a seasoned sewer. If you're a beginner, probably take you a day to put it together. It does look more complicated than it really is. I hope you give this pattern a try. Please like, share, and leave a comment. And, sh and uh, until next time, sew with the beads.